It's been a rainy day here in Accra. I am Pearl Lakanya Ofori. In today's edition of City News Daily on City TV, over 100 judges in Ghana threaten a strike. They are demanding an increase in their salaries. We will tell you the details of the story here. The Governor National Democratic Congress, NDC, has rubbished claims by the opposition New Patriotic Party that their flag bearer, who is also the president of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, was at a point investigated for corruption. Now, at a press conference yesterday, the policy advisor to the NPP flag bearer, Bwachi Ejako, alleged that President Mahama was investigated by his former boss, late President John Evans Tamils over alleged corrupt acts. He said President Mahama has been compromised and therefore lacks the moral authority to fight corruption. But in response, the national coordinator for the NDC's 2016 campaign, Kofi Adams, said the MPP is only fabricating such stories to tarnish the image of the president. As you may be aware, Ghana's Electoral Commission has announced a 50,000 Ghana CD filing fee for presidential candidates and 10,000 Ghana CD for parliamentary candidates in this year's election. While the Convention People's Party has endorsed the decision by the Progressive People's Party to sue the EC over what the parties are describing as high filing fees for presidential and parliamentary nominees. There has been a 500% increase in filing fees for presidential nominees between 2012 and 2016. Now, Communications Director of the CPP, Kadr Abdul Rahul Isufu, tells City News Daily, although they support the decision by the PPP, they will independently continue to oppose the fee hikes until the Electoral Commission takes action. We can now go to the court and over 150 lower court judges are planning to abandon the court next week if their demand for a 10% salary increase is not adhered to. A letter from the Chief of Staff, Julius Debra, cited by City News Daily, approved the 10% salary increase. But according to the judges, months after that, the Finance Ministry has failed to pay them. Now, if the judges go ahead with their plan, activities within the circuit and district courts will come to a complete halt. Now to a very interesting, or let me say, a bizarre story. And the Ghana National Fire Service has suspended one of its officers in Techiman in the Bunuahafi region, who has been accused of attempting to rape his female subordinate, but ended up getting his pennies bitten. On Friday, Eric Ansa, who is stationed at Techiman, is reported to have threatened the female officer to give in to his sexual demands. The lady, for fear of being victimized, gave in to Eric's demands, but in an interesting twist of fate, managed to bite his manhood during foreplay, which resulted in Eric being hospitalized. Now speaking to City News Daily on the event so far, the Deputy Public Relations Officer of the Ghana National Fire Service, Prince Billy Anaglati, said the service has started investigations into this matter. Now, some of you have been commenting on the story, and we'll take the first one from Ibrahim Nuruddin. He says, the way to save herself from rape, very fantastic. Mampi Graham says, what she did was perfectly right. Guys have taken us for granted for far too long. That self-defense, ata waya pa. Next time, chop it off completely. And the final one is from Kusius, and he says, hmm, one lady, one bite. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1024-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available. That'll be all for today on City News Daily on City TV. I am Pia Lakanya Furi. Thanks for your time.